Welcome to the Glendora Historical Society Museum. The museum at one time housed the City of Glendora's original 1913 firehouse, city hall, and jail. The city's first fire truck, a 1915 American LaFrance engine, is still in operation today. It has been beautifully restored and is used in parades and special events. Glendora's known history goes back over 6,000 years. Artifacts found locally indicate that the Native Americans occupied this area as winter grounds. They were hunters and gatherers, a peaceful people, and they traded goods locally. Henry Dalton, an Englishman, came to Glendora area in 1844 and purchased vast acres of undeveloped lands. He grew crops, planted vineyards, raised cattle, and even established a school. In 1885, George Dexter Whitcomb came to the Pasadena area for health reasons. He liked the climate and he invested in land here in Glendora. George Whitcomb developed streets, planted trees, and began to advertise land for sale. In 1887, he sold the first lot, 200 acres, for $600. The Southern Pacific Railroad was built in 1887 and was the key to Glendora's development. The train brought people who were ready to start a new life along with their goods and supplies to the area. Churches, stores, city services, and schools began to develop. Citrus groves were abundant throughout the Glendora area. The citrus industry employed workers in the orchards who tended the crops from winter freezes to picking the fruit, to the packing houses where the fruit was cleaned and sorted, and shipped all over the country. Orton Engelhart, a citrus rancher, was looking for ways to better water his orchards and developed the first oscillating sprinkler which revolutionized the watering regimes for crops, orchards, and golf courses. This began the world-renowned Rainbird Sprinkler Company. Glendora's population began to increase after World War II and the citrus groves were replaced by housing developments. The 50s and 60s brought many changes to Glendora. Some of Glendora's many notables include Woody Strode, actor and first African-American to play in the National Football League, the Safaris and their instant surf music hit, Wipeout, Gumby, the stop-action animation was actually produced here, and there's so much more. While we are a small museum, we have a big story to tell. We encourage you to come and see us and become a member of the Glendora Historical Society, and there's lots of ways you can volunteer. We look forward to seeing you. If you're looking for ways to give back to your community, we encourage you to volunteer with us.